All right, so we're back at it again today. First chore, I'm gonna take that out. Notice we're outfitted a little bit different. Got the hikers. I'm hoping this isn't just gonna be a work day. Once I get past that major obstacle down here, I wanna hike the trail. I don't know how much maintenance I'll do from that point on. But uh, this is something that you might wanna, if you're a backpacker, it's called a what a saw And uh, you know, I, I usually I didn't bring it because when you get where you're going backpacking, a lot of times, you know, the, <laughs> you're just too damn tired to uh, worry about getting up, cutting some stuff up for a fire. But if you're going to stay there a day or two, which I'm getting old, that's what I do, hike and then just camp out for maybe a day or, and then rest up and then the next day get, get, get to hiking again. But anyway, uh, but that'll make short work of this. I, I don't have to cut that. I mean, I, you can just step over it over here. But, might as well get it out of the way and then uh, we'll, I'll get you a video of what the next obstacle is and then we'll, we'll go on from there. So there's a big one. I certainly can't deal with that. Don't have a chainsaw. It's our trail. Hey, maintenance crew. Maybe come back in here. But uh, anyway, this is uh, this project of the day. And then hopefully we're going to get some good hiking in. I want to see. I've, I know, I've never hiked this, so this is going to be great to see where it goes. I mean, I've gone way back this way, but uh, anyway, I'm just going to cut right through here. You know, I'll leave all the big stuff for, you know, people with a, with a crew and a chainsaw, but uh, it won't take me that long to, to cut through that. All right. All right, we made short work of that. That's the what I saw in action. Didn't take that long. And you can see now, we can just cut right through here if you're hiking the trail. Whereas before you would have had to try to navigate through that and come around or, or through that. So I got the weed eater here. So we're just going to kind of blaze our way. You see the orange mark on the tree down there? And we'll continue on and just leave the rest of this for the, for the big boys if they ever get back in here. And uh, you know, I'm just knocking this stuff down so you don't get the chick. Man, I tell you what, those chiggers are nasty. Oh my God, I hate the chiggers because they... It, it, it's just never mind. So this this will keep them away. I, this is my my revenge. This is trick chigger revenge, baby. Chigger revenge. You know I never really showed you all this before, but here hold on, let's get a little selfie here. So we blaze the trail, and uh, coming down here, and uh, it's making a left right up here. But I wanted to show you show you this because. Uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, I had a video where I talked about the PTSD and have the noise canceling headphones and all of that. And uh, But I never showed you the Walkman. This is the guy right here. This is the, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, there he is. So that's the uh, Sanjean DT400 or Sanjean. And I just bought the 800, which is actually supposed to be even better. Now you see the trail, you got to watch these markings. I was getting ready to go that way because <laughs> I mean, it's, it don't look like a trail. I mean, let's just show you what it looks like where I haven't done anything. And, uh, you know, who's going to come back here and hike this? I mean, I don't know why they, they don't maintain it, but, uh, oh, you know, it ain't going to take that long. I mean, you get a crew back in here, you know, a couple days, they could, they could do a couple miles easy unless they run into what I ran into, those trees back there. But uh, anyway, that's it. Stop there. All right, man. I may have to call it a day. The bugs, I just can't believe it. I mean, here we are, it's in December and we've had cold weather and the skeeters are out today and I did not, every damn time I do something. I mean, I thought I thought I everything for that daggone car and the bug netting. I didn't put the bug netting or bug spray in there because I just didn't anticipate it. But you know, here's, here's a little tip for, you know, if you ever wanted to do some volunteer work. See, this is a real muddy area, and uh, I'm just surprised that, you know, a lot of these trail maintenance uh, volunteers or even the people that get paid to do it, you know, you could fill in these mud holes with, with stuff like that. Now, you see all those deer tracks? That'll all get beaten right down into that mud, and, and then you could hike through there rather than widening the trail. See how this, this is getting wider and wider because of that hole? Anyway, I wanted to show you, this is where the trail makes the turn. If you kind of look up on this tree, see those two marks? That's showing you the trail going to the right, and I missed that last time. <laughs> and I thought the trail, I mean, doesn't it look like the trail goes that way? I just, I, you know, someday I'll hike that just to see where the hell it goes. 
but uh, anyway this is actually the trail and so you can see if you didn't know if I hadn't cut it down a little bit because it was completely grown up that this is where the trail goes and man the skeeters are on me all right so we uh just want to kind of show you a little bit you know it doesn't take that long if they come back in here to do a little bit of little tra trail maintenance but you can see man it's not it's in bad shape and uh well i'll blaze on a little while i want to go ahead and use up the second battery you know and uh we'll just cut down i'm not going to do a great job i'm just going to try to make it walkable and uh and then on up there was an there was a tree down uh, about a year ago and i cut that down and i trimmed all of this last year but <laughs> it looks like it hadn't been done in a year oh, i'm sorry man I'm jumping around because of the mosquitoes but uh anyway i got some water in the backpack it's it's break time and uh we'll continue on from there well this is as far as i get today i'm not going to hike through that i didn't um i would i guess i would need my bug netting because when you that tall grass right there you know it's almost uh well it's almost as tall as i am so you know bugs and stuff on top of that and and uh i cut man i tell you i went through two batteries i should have brought three i didn't but i knew that i should quit it too so it's a good thing i only brought two this is what it looks like uh, heading back this way uh i'll get some video of some other stuff i i got done and uh, i've almost made this portion of the trail hikeable so it's getting there and uh and then uh up well on up here ways let me just show you there's a road a kind of a road i've only just seen it and uh because that's as far as i've ever gotten on this trail and uh, i want to see where that goes and i have a feeling i'm not going to have to do maintenance to hike that at least i hope not i mean this is this is crazy i mean this i've been at this for, well two whole days and i still have <laughs> haven't even made it to that doggone road or there's actually another tree up there that i that i did all right so let's uh i'm going to show you a couple things that, that we knocked out and um well, you can see I, I haven't obviously cut through here. I was just hiking up a ways. If it stayed like this, I was going to keep hiking. But once that grass got, you know, taller than me, that, that's uh, that's where I just got it. Call it a day. All right. So real brief, you got to pick and choose your battles. You know, right here, this tree was kind of across. And what I was going to do was just bring the trail up through there. But it wasn't that big a deal to move it out of the way. But this one here, what's the point? You know, you can go right underneath it. So we'll get down to another big tree where the big boys will have to come in and take care of that stuff. So yeah, this is some, I always try to show you interesting stuff. And uh, this is a big hole dug here. <laughs> now I filled it in a little bit because it's kind of part of the trail. But what dug this hole? I mean, bear, maybe? I don't know. If, you, uh, if you're if um, you watching this video and you're an environmentalist and uh, you know, or uh, you know, just know critters, Tell me what dug that hole, because if you look along the trail, there's all kinds of little holes dug, and maybe something's digging for grubs. I'll just show you right up here. So here's another spot where it looks like something's been digging all along here. And then you get right here, looks like something digging there. And then you got this right here. And I can't believe that's water that washed that out. I, I, maybe so, maybe so, I don't know. Certainly that water didn't dig that hole back there. But anyway, we'll keep going. So this will probably be the last video of the day. But those big trees came across the trail. And man, I, you know, obviously I'm not going to do anything with that. And rather than step over it, I just cut a little area right through there to go around it. So there you go. When the big boys get back here, they can cut it out of the way. In the meantime, just hike right around it.